I was ranting on about personal heroes. I've been I've been ranting on about personal heroes, and um, Nassim Haramein is is uh, certainly uh, one of my personal heroes, and um, I've so I've made that many movies about the um, fractal double torus model. I've been ranting about that, but. Um, I wanted to say, um, put Nassim Harriman into a sort of a context of the way I was able to look at his stuff over my life. And, and that's what I'm going to do. When I was young, I, I remember seeing a movie called The Little Big Man with Dustin Hoffman. And I think, because I haven't seen the movie for a very long time, but I think there was a bit in it where it said... The, uh, the white man thinks everything is dead. Nothing has a soul. The only thing that has a soul is man. Whereas the Indians believe that everything is alive, everything has consciousness. Even the rocks and the water and the air has consciousness. And I think the Indians are right, um, way more so. Um, I was, I was also lucky enough to read uh, the Carlos Castaneda's books when I was very young, maybe 17, 18 maybe, and um, they're great books, oh, ripping yarns from start to finish, but also a lot of really good stuff in there. And that's the way Don Juan or Carlos Castaneda saw the world, everything was alive. And it seems to me um, like I've sort of lived my life um, storing energy. I do it, uh, you know, you walk the path. I think um, individual enlightenment is, ex is extremely difficult to attain. Y you walk the path and you don't know whether you're on the right path. You're just walking the path, you know. And you, um, Carlos said that you store energy by holding your hands like this and you use death as your advisor. So I guess it's like, you know, in the face of your death, it's a good razor to uh, see, you know, my laptop's shaking. But anyway, it's a rant. Um, the thing is, maybe even though I uh, took a lot of it to heart, and you, you don't necessarily believe it, but you're trying to store energy, because what, you, what the, the idea behind it is, is that everything is energy, and... Um, matter is kind of illusion. And if you can store enough energy or information, you can perceive the universe for what it really is, for the energetic thing that it really is. And so, anyway, as a young man, it's kind of like magical thinking to you, and it's always been magical thinking in a way because you can't pull it, like Nassim Harriman says, you can't pull it out of dogma. When you have an idea like that, it's a dogma, it's a religion. But I wanted to speak in a mechanical way about what people are. What is a person? And um, are you just a collection of your memories? Or are you something more? And I didn't want to speak in a, um, a spiritual way. I wanted to speak in a mechanical way. And when, when, I, when you look at Nassim Haramain's model of the universe, uh, it, it makes, it's almost like, wow, that crazy old Indian Don Juan knew a thing or two, you know? But what Nassim Haramain has done, and, you know, these are ideas, but what he's done is he's brought it out of dogma. So according to Carlos Castaneda, um, everything is energy, and what, what people really are, and I, I know it sounds spiritual, but let's, let's try to think mechanical. And what people really are is a luminous group of fibres, of luminous fibres of awareness. And in your centre point, you have a connection to the greater universe. And that is the point at which you perceive your reality. And Nassim Haramein, in, in a very similar way, I think, views the universe. I mean, obviously, he, has a, he sees it through um, mathematics. I think that there is a lot of evidence, and I don't think there are too many people who would argue that 
People are just a sequence of their memories. In, in Nassim Haramain's model, what memory is, is like an imprint on space-time itself, to where if you're on the planet Earth and you are spinning around the sun and the sun's spinning around the galaxy, it's always occupying a new point of space. And what memory is, is a point in that space. And so your mind is not a computer uh, per se. What your mind is is a radio. And it is hooked in and perceives the, um, the, the universe. And like when you access your memory, that's what you're really doing. Uh, so people are not um, biological computers. In a way, you're much more like a radio, possibly. But again, it's really interesting to try to take life's mysteries and bring them out of dogma. And I think that's what Nassim Haramain has done. He's incredible. Uh, like he, uh, he unified the fields. You know, quantum, uh, the subatomic, uh, uh, to general relativity. And, you know, for a, a person like myself who's really mathematically illiterate, um, it seems like the, the answers are so simple, so elegant, and, uh, you know, I mean, the questions are, are super complex, but the answer is simple. He, uh, like, he solved the, um, the I Ching, and um, he solved uh, the Kabbalistic um, Tree of Life uh, riddle that no one was able to solve, and... Uh, I mean, the guy's a genius, you know, and I think uh, it seems to me that when you can bring um, spirituality and science in together, I think, um, and, and speak of it out of dogma, I think that's, that's a worthy thing to be discussing.